Now, I thought for this um, exhibition, we would look at the biggest one I have in my museum, first of all, which is the Willow Coracle. Now, this little boat was made probably hundreds and hundreds of years ago, and it's made rather like an upside down boat. It's a basket. The stakes are put in the ground in the shape of the coracle, and it is woven on the sides up. And now when it's woven up about a foot, maybe 10 inches, the stakes are folded across one side to the other, this side to that side, and you can see they're all knotted with string, and then they're tidied up. So that we've now got an upside down coracle sitting in the grass. Now we go, and it's quite an effort, you pull it up with your fingers, you pull it up out of the ground, and we now have a coracle this way up, and of course we have all the stakes that were in the ground, and we snip them all off very tightly, and we have now a big, big basket. Now the next stage, of course, is to cover it, and we used for this, we used um, a very strong cotton material, and it was sewn and rather well sewn all around the edge, so it was completely covered with a very strong calico cotton. And then we gave it two coats of roof paint, and that was it. The roof paint made it nice and waterproof, and we were now ready almost to put it in the water, but we put in a seat which would go across. And the string here is so that you can carry it from your house down to the river. As you can imagine, it's very light. Now, the joy of this little boat was that in England there weren't a lot of bridges. And so if I lived on one side of the river and my friend lived on the other, I could jump in my coracle and go and have a cup of tea. It was also, of course, used for fishing and for going up and down the river. Now, there are a couple of handicaps to it. Of course, it is very, very um, easily tipped because it has nothing on the bottom, no centreboard, and of course if the wind blows it goes streaming across the river and if the river has a current it goes running down the current. So you have to be very aware of where you are and it's quite tippy. If you sit in the middle you mustn't come on the edge and because you can't sit on the edge it is um, paddled by sitting, you sit right in the middle of the seat. You lean forward and you do a sort of figure eight. You come down and you go across, down, and it's like a figure of eight. Pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. And, and you don't sit and paddle on the side because you'll probably tip over. So it's a lot of fun. It's lovely to be able to make something you can take in the river, take on the lake, and um, we can still make them today with willow. And today, of course, they do use stronger, probably more plasticky, probably synthetic coverings. But you don't need to. You can still use calico and roof paint. So good luck to anybody. There are quite a lot of instructions you can find on the internet. And you can always try making your own. I think it's worth a try. And if you have trouble, give me a shout. This is a photo of us making the coracles when we had a workshop and you can see how it's made and you can see how the tops of the willows are folded over and knotted. It's a very clever way of making baskets and of course it's very strong.